Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a super awesome day. I'm in Luminar 4 today, and man, let me tell you, I'm having a lot of fun. This whole AI sky replacement thing, it's next level. It's totally badass. Um, it's fun. It's as quick as can be, and I'm going to show it to you because I did a video, I don't know, a little while ago, and um, lots of comments and feedback, and people said, wow, it looks great. Um, but some of you said, and rightfully so, hey, Jim, like you're saying it's like a couple of clicks, but why don't you show us the product? I didn't show the product then. Um, they, they said we could, but they, I actually chose not to show it because I felt like, um, well, it's in beta, right? And what I show you may not be what you end up getting because it may vary. And so I don't want to cause any confusion. Um, but there's so many questions. And frankly, there are other people that have done videos that shown this. I figured, well, okay, as long as I'm clear that it's beta. So if you haven't heard me yet, this is beta, um, which means uh, the user interface is not locked down. And in fact, it's changed a little bit since I first got the beta. Um, all the features are not locked down. I've also had some feature changes. Um, there are a number of things that are gonna change because, hey, we're in beta. So having said all that with all my disclaimers, I'm gonna show you how uh, AI sky replacement works and more importantly, how quickly it works and how accurately it works. So boom, let's do it. I'm in Luminar 4, AI sky replacement. Cool shot from Venice, Jim. Yeah, it was kind of nice, but there was no sunset. That kind of sucks. Hey, why don't we fix that? Okay, let's fix it. Click on that one, see how that looks. Hey, we're done. That was pretty easy. I actually don't like that sunset. Let me get a different one. Let's try sunset 4. Maybe that'll be a little prettier. Hey, wow. Okay, I'm just kind of yapping here, but did you notice how quick that was? I was clicking buttons and it's throwing the sunset sky on there. And I don't know if you noticed this, but over here on that left-hand side, there was a big cruise ship that went by, blurred out. The sunset's going behind that, so my cruise ship is not getting screwed up, and that's moving light being replaced with different light. It's pretty cool stuff. As I said, it's next level. Let me show you. Um, look at the accuracy of that mask, my friends. It's around this little thing. Um, it's all around here. It looks like it's even through that. It's definitely through that. It's behind this scaffolding. Um, if, if, you know, if you're not really happy about that or thinking that that's next level, then I, I don't know, your expectations are too high maybe, because that's some serious stuff that that's no masking. That's no work. That's a couple of clicks. Now there's a bunch of settings here, things you can play with. I highly recommend a relight scene because it will help you blend the light together. But I feel like I always still need to go do more work. So that's how it works. It's literally that easy. Let me show you a couple of more photos. Okay, here's another one from Venice while we're in Venice. This was actually a really nice sunset, but I was shooting at F2 wide open. We're in a moving gondola, and I was just like, oh, let me, you know, so I uh, just take photos or whatever. So I, I literally focused on the end of this thing because it's something I could lock on. But hey, maybe I don't like that. I want a better sky. Okay, so how about uh, sunset one? Let's just try that, and boom, it's on. Actually, you know what? That's not the one I wanted. I wanted a dramatic sunset one because, hey, cue the drama. Boom, it's on there. Um, now, a lot of this stuff in the background, F2, wide open, really quick shot. Uh, you know, my photo's not super clear, but if you can see the mask, uh, or you can't see the mask, but you can see the line where the mask would be, even that thing is, is on there. Okay, I see a little bit there that could probably use some work, and that's what some of these tools are for. But, I mean, that was rapid stuff. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Uh, super quick, super easy, and, um, like, no work, right? Um, now, I'm not telling you it's perfect. It's not perfect. It does a really incredibly good job in all of my tests, but there are times, like that little corner over here, where you got to go do a little massaging. And guess what? That's okay. You still have a new sky blended in in seconds or a couple of minutes with some of these sliders versus however tedious it was would have been in the past. So I'm very happy with this, if you can't tell. I'm going to show you a couple of more and give you an idea as well. Here we go. Okay, somebody had left a comment on that video and said, you know, I shoot a lot of cities in blue hour and I'd rather put in like a Milky Way sky. Can I do that? Uh, yeah, load custom sky, night sky. You know, I just took off to Wyoming real quick and hey, no I didn't. I just sat on my butt in my desk and stuck a night sky on the uh, um, on, uh, on a photo from Wyoming. So again, relight the scene, come in here and do kind of things to kind of blend them together. But yeah, you can stick a night sky. However, in some of my tests, 
Hey, did I tell you this is beta? Beta, we're still in beta. Um, in some of my tests, if it's a completely dark night sky, like in a city and I've got like uh, a passing car, like light trails, if the sky is completely bat black, it hasn't picked that up. Again, in beta, maybe that's gonna change, I don't know. This one was obviously not um, that kind of sky, but I mean, look at that, here we go. Um, and, and look how well it's done around the horizon and the tree. Now again, you can hit some sliders to do some of the local fine tune adjustments that get around the edges. And I'll get into that in future videos, but I wanted to show you that. And I'm gonna do one more, let me get that photo. Okay, um, like a morning in Prague, I'd been out uh, shooting sunrise on the Charles Bridge. And you know, let's just, so that's why the streets are empty, but let's say I wanna make it a night shot, come in here and boom, I've got a Milky Way sky. Now this is where I'll hit some of these sliders because I wanna take horizon position and kinda of go that way because I wanna get more of the Milky Way. I think in my test I was at like 35. Um, I need to relight the scene because as you can tell, it's way too bright for a nighttime shot. That looks a lot better, look at that. And let me uh, zoom in my friends. Um, take a look at that gutter. The stars are coming in between that gutter and that gutter. It blended around that, the little tops of that um, little tower thing, whatever it's called, um, it's it's coming through and around that. So um, that's next level stuff, my friend. I don't know what else to say or how else to describe it. That's mind blowing. Um, now, I'm not done editing the photo and I'm about to go take my little happy butt and jump around in Luminar 4 and uh, edit some of these photos for fun. Um, and maybe I'll show you that in future videos, but I wanted to show you how easy and quick it is to stick in a new sky and get it like 99 to 99.863% done. And you know, 99.863% of uh, statistics are made up on the spot. Um, however, it's very accurate, it's very quick, and it saves you so much time. You're gonna be giddy like I am. And um, I'm just getting started, my friends. There's gonna be a lot of videos about this coming. Again, we're in beta, so features may change, the user interface may change. Hey, Jim, are things gonna change? Yeah, they are. It's just, This is beta. I'm gonna say that 48 more times. Wait, no. I don't know how many I got, but I said it enough. You got the point. But look at that. I mean, it was a morning in Prague, and now it's a Milky Way over Prague, right? Super easy, super quick, and super fun. And if you're not having fun, you're, you're just missing the point, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave me comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm still playing and getting used to it and having fun, but I'm loving Luminar 4 and this sky replacement thing. Whew, God, it's fun, it's just fun. I need to go shoot some skies, like right now. So I'm gonna go do that. You should do the same, and I'll see you soon, friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, take care, and adios.